Wiz been saying Amber been fucking Nick Cannon. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have heard. I have heard I that. I've heard. I that. have heard. Now that. check this out, right? I don't believe that though, because let's be. I mean, Amber Rose is pretty. Not going to lie, but let's be honest. Amber Rose, <laughs> right? Hey, <laughs> hey, I'm just saying, Amber Rose, Mariah Carey. But Nick Cannon's getting the bush from Mariah Carey. I heard that too. Welcome to Wally Mop, episode number 13. I'm fresh off a crackhead beatdown. Uh, oh, oh, a potential crackhead beatdown. Sure you can. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Uh, in the building again. Uh, I, it feels kind of feels kind of sad like, uh, in the building again. I, I Doing our podcast when we know uh, Epic Battle Axe is ending over there. That's, you know, I feel kind of bad about that. Yeah. Uh, big shout out to EBC. You know, yeah. Anyways, I'm Andre, your host for uh, Wally Mopped. Uh, gaming and uh, to my right, got Tony P. What's up, Tony P? How you been? Chilling, man. What's good? Life is good, man. Yep, crackhead free today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. De- definitely crackhead free today. So that's always a good thing. We are gonna get to that in the, in the recap. I had to almost yeah, be the crackhead yeah, yeah. ass, you know. But thanks for everybody coming out to the Wally Mob uh, Gaming, our second gaming tournament at the Bel Air Lanes uh, location. So it's real good. Uh, we gave away all my money. Didn't win any of it back, but uh, I'm coming back next week. Across the table, who we got? Uh, Lone Wolf. What's going on, man? What it uh? uh what it is? What hold is, on. What is, uh, uh, just for all those listening at home, birthday. just thought we should let everybody know that yes, it is Lone Wolf's happy birthday today. Birthday. All the black people. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday. <laughs> all right. Okay, that's enough birthday. Second verse. <laughs> All right, that's no bir- that's no birthday love for Lone Wolf. You know, just thought I'd go ahead. And throw well, that he out is there. Lone Wolf. He doesn't really like to be with too many people for a birthday. So you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, appreciate yeah. you coming out. I had no problem, no problem. I, all I'd be doing is sit at home playing something. I don't know. <laughs> Off in the corner. I just <laughs> I saw that coming. I said, mm. beat off. <laughs> <laughs> Beating off in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> What are you doing in there? I'm celebrating my birthday. Leave me alone. <laughs> Mama, no. <laughs> don't open the door. Don't open the door. Don't do it. Speaking of beating off in the corner, uh, Legacy, what's going on? <laughs> Happy birthday, Mr. <laughs> President. <laughs> what a world. Don't, don't do it. I swear to God, just start shooting some shit. I'm, I'm out. We couldn't find I'm a cake off. big enough to put his ass in. That's the only thing. Uh, so <laughs> I got stuck. I was <laughs> Biggest wedding I was gonna cake say, you I, don't, I was gonna say, I don't even think you can specially <laughs> order a cake that big. Everybody getting diabetes for that cake. We have, we have to take the icing from that lady who got bang, gang banged. Uh, to cover <laughs> that cake. Frosted like a cake. <laughs> anyway, we got a lot of stories to get into. Uh, it's quite the Omega type show going on today. Mm-hmm. Uh, but before we get into all that, we're gonna hit you up with the stories you should have heard of. All right, so uh, next topic in the story you should have heard about, Tokyo Game Show. It's over, and in my opinion, I mean, there was a whole slew of important uh, game stuff, even to Americans uh, that came out as far as fighting games go. But the most interesting stuff, in my opinion, was Final Fantasy XV. I actually getting to see the game in motion. Uh, it's not what you think it is. For Final and that's, well, at least and, Final and, Fantasy. I, and, and, I, and I think that's a good thing. Um, um, impressions, uh, uh, guys, go tell me what you guys think about it. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that I, you know, me being a Final Fantasy fan myself, this definitely is. You think it's stepping in the right direction? It, it, it's, it's stepping in the right direction, but it definitely breaks away from Man, the norm. It definitely strategy. Yeah. It definitely breaks away from the norm of what Final Fantasy I didn't used see to be. Any um, items or like like clicking moves or power moves or whatever. Like how do you, that's another thing. How do you level? Okay, not how do you level up in the game, but how do you get like better moves? Or do, is it like is it like Devil May Cry based? Like where you just learn moves? Yeah, it, like, or it's like or like do you like how do you do spells? Like do you have to? Press stop the game, press select. Like, it's, it's so much I want to know about the game, but it looks amazing. Yeah, amazing. I mean, very very fluent gameplay. Very oh, fluent. Oh, man. So, um, guys, what, what, uh, uh, Lone Wolf, uh, uh, John, what do you think about the game? I'm actually really curious to see how they're going to pull this off because uh, the past few Final Fantasies were... Garbage. Lightning story was... was it. If you're a Final Fantasy fan, um, then Lightning story, you know, you played it. Yeah, it, <laughs> it was nothing groundbreaking. I mean, the visuals were amazing. Like they finally got uh, on last gen, we finally got to a point where the cutscenes, the you know, Final Fantasy is famous for having the most beautiful cutscenes, and then the game actually running like shit. The game at least ran pretty good. Oh yeah, 
Oh yeah, this this looks looks smooth smoother than that though. Yeah, it looks yeah. much smoother than yeah. that. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm I'm wondering how gameplay is gonna be. See, this is a, okay. So we watched the video the, the, from TGS, and the guy is like dodging attacks. He's like flipping over enemies and dodging attacks, like like a like a like an action game. Yeah. In yeah. Final Fantasy, is historically, I mean, there is more action in the game that you can't really pause the game anymore. You can't like you used to be able to play a Final Fantasy game or a turn a a, a, a turn base like RPG game on a couch with one hand. You you know you walk around, it's a random enemy, you don't even see the enemy, it just pops up, and then you got your party there, and you man you do management. You know what I'm saying? This is like you're running around and you see something in the distance, you go up to it and you fight it. That's a big difference. From a final from Final Fantasy, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, I'm thinking I'm I'm thinking it might go against some of the. Some I'm thinking, of what oh, that's the, what I'm thinking. It's gonna be a lot of backlash. You yeah, know what I mean? There's there's gonna because be this, is, <laughs> this isn't there's no it doesn't look turn based. It's not turn based at all. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't look, it doesn't look like there's you're combos. Be able to switch switch between characters and stuff like that. And that was one thing that people didn't like about Final Fantasy uh, 13 was yeah. the fact that you only had control of one character and everybody else was just kind of like doing their own thing AI controlled. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that was the thing. But you can now partner up and do tag team. You can do actual combos in the game. Like, you can do XX or triangle, triangle, like, square or whatever. I guess that's a combo. You can actually team up with your bros because it's, the basis of the game is, like, you're on, like, a road trip. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Basically. Yeah. It's like, it's like a Final Fantasy setting type game done in the future. Like, yeah. in the present day or whatever like that. So, you get out the car, you fight some stuff, and you get back in the car and you ride around. It's pretty It's pretty hot. I like it. I like the Like, I haven't been invested in Final Fantasy since seven and like nine, yeah, probably maybe no. Maybe, what was the uh, a seven definitely because you know everybody loves seven. Yeah, se- I mean seven, seven, se- se- seven, seven, seven is like eight. the holy <laughs> seven is like the holy grail of yeah. Final seven and eight games. were the ones that a lot of people like and got into Final Fantasy with. Yeah. And then not there was one that was like it was a ten two or was a ten. Yeah, there, there, there was a ten and then there was a ten two. Yeah, with 10, the, the so, ten two was with so oh, the three the girls, females. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, that one was pretty but dope. But ten was with had a main character. It was a Tennis. guy, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah so seven and ten were the last Final Fantasy games that I played into completion. Mm. I haven't I haven't played to completion of Final Fantasy games since then. I am so hyped for this Final Fantasy game. Like like I I might buy a get the whatever Final Fantasy Type Zero whatever they're doing. I might buy that just to play the demo. Yeah, like that's yeah. like like that's how high I am on the game. It looks it looks like you got this. You got this really sword that you can mean. throw and teleport with the sword. Yeah, but I'm just I'm thinking I still think they're gonna get a lot of backlash from from it not being Final Fantasy how we've come well, to this, know. Final but this Fantasy. is it. I think that it's it's. I understand what you're saying. Like I I think they should have did where they could have they could have came out with this game and not called it Final Fantasy. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, it, it could have came out this game and called it whatever. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure you're still going to have items. You're still going to have spells. But the actual... I mean, everything's gonna, everything looks the same except for the combat. Yeah. The combat actually looks good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean well, but, but action game good, not RPG turn-based strategy That's good. the problem. Uh, I mean, a lot, of, a lot of people are missing the RPG aspects yeah. of Final Fantasy. They're getting... Having having an action game is nice, but it's not it's not the same as having like that RPG feel. Yeah, but the RPG elements of the game are still there. Yeah, it, it's still there. But so I mean, but what makes the what makes RPG RPG is not the turn based. Yeah. Even though the turn based strategy is basically they they that action you think of and you say RPG, but like like Mass Effect is RPG. Yeah, like what's it's RPG. You know, even though it's different levels. Well, it's, I'm not. I'm not talking mainly about the the turn based or the fighting uh, uh, mechanics. I'm talking just mainly like control. Mm-hmm. It's what, there's way more control. Yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah, like, but not in a strategy way. It's more like in a. I understand what you're saying. Like, like Final Fantasy game is like you have to manage your team. Yeah, this is not. This, this is more like, like just managing one it's, person. We don't. Well, okay, of course we haven't played it yet, so we don't know. Yeah, but it seems like this is like managing. Kinda in the way of a uh, of um, yeah. So like you said, Dragon Age. Dragon Age. It seems like it's going more towards that route. Like in Dragon Age, it's more hands on. It's more actiony. You can kind of control your character, but you can also control your squad too, to a certain extent. You you can, you can 
In Dragon Age, you can't control your squad. So yeah, they haven't shown if you can create, yeah, control each character. That, yet. That's the thing. That's the thing a lot of people didn't like about uh, Thirteen mm -hmm. was the fact that you only had control of Lightning in the first one. Uh, they gave you a little bit of control uh, with uh, Sarah and the second one, and you're back to just Lightning in the third. One. Yeah, you didn't. Even, you don't even in the third one. You don't even have a crew. You're no, just, it's just Lightning. You're just Lightning the whole yeah. time, which is no. I mean, it's it is what it is, but um. You didn't have control of the whole team, but you didn't have control of really anything in the in the way that you have control like of the now you can control how your character moves. Right. What they do. Like and like it's all I guess being from a, 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 a hack and slash background of games and fighting games, it appeals to me on more of a level that this is a game that I have to I have to sit up and play. As opposed to laying back on a couch and just kinda being smarter than the computer to play. This is going to rely on reflexes and twitch hitting and having the right mana potions and all that. All that stuff that you need for, say, a Devil May Cry type game more so than the Final Fantasy. Yeah. And being that, I'm, I guess I'm not the hardest of core Final Fantasy and Square Enix. Honestly, let's be honest. Hasn't been doing that great in sales lately. I mean, they made three mil off Tomb Raider and said it was not, not a success. So they need to do something to switch up the Final Fantasy monotony. And I think this is this is it. I'm I'm high on the game. I can't wait for it to come out. If it keeps going on the road it is now, they've definitely won back a new fan. Yeah. Well, trust me, I already know I'm gonna be playing it, so bring it on. I'm I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna give it a go. I'm not I'm not gonna uh just say it's gonna be crap or anything like that. Um uh, the past few it's, it's it's not teching with spoof super moves, right? You know what? Fuck. <laughs> you know, you know, you know, you know what's funny. I was, you know what's funny. I was gonna kind of say something about say, that, they but they I said, you know what? Bullshit. I said, you know what? I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, I'm not gonna throw salt in there. That's I'm not right. gonna throw salt in that's the right. I'm no, not gonna no, go there. I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for King, uh, 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 Kingdom Hearts. That's what I'm waiting for. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Final, uh, Final Fantasy, you're all good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, this, what, what doesn't, Hearts, come what on doesn't this follow the Kingdom Hearts path? Mm-mm. You don't think so? Mm -mm. This is a totally different game from Kingdom Hearts. But the, oh, but, you mean but the, oh, game, the gameplay? Yeah, gameplay. Game 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 mm -hmm. and, Kingdom, and Kingdom Hearts is a big success. Yeah, uh, kind of, sort of, but it, it you still have a okay. Bit take more take the over. take the platforming away, right? Yeah. Let's say let let because because the platforming was make is what makes it Kingdom Hearts like Disney. If you put some interesting puzzles together, uh, you put like you know you you acquire items to get to different places on the map. You basically got a Final Fantasy Kingdom Hearts. Damn. Okay. I like that. I like that analogy, uh, sir. Uh, that as soon as you said Kingdom Hearts, that's the first thing I thought about. I said yeah. Kingdom. I said Kingdom Hearts, just Final Fantasy wise. Yeah, it's a good deal. Legacy. Uh, final thoughts. I'm gonna get it. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, hey, it was short and sweet. Yep. And the chair's still here. All right, we're back in the first story Whoa. you should have heard about. Um, Legacy just broke my chair, but, you know, it's all right. <laughs> Shit happens when you're, you're making stuff, you know what I mean? No, Shit doesn't. breaks. I'm going to break things up. Them big niggas. Everything I touch dies. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so Including females, back on the milk so carton. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Shadows of Mordor. Uh, uh, how appropriate we're talking about a game about somebody that's dead and broken and and somebody that dies, and you just, you know, come back, and anyways, so you played this game, uh, this game's, uh, getting some good reviews, uh, the highest rated next-gen game, higher rated than, uh, Destiny, higher rated than, um, uh, Watch Dogs, which were more highly anticipated, but I think I know why, uh, Legacy's played the game, and if he's done breaking all my shit, you can tell us a little bit about it. <laughs> First off, everything I touch dies, people, so don't get near me. <laughs> Secondly, females, that means you too. <laughs> I, so, oh, don't don't start! Don't even start! Don't even start! Well, I mean you. Yeah, I mean all you the said, do is you, break white girls. I'm saying you. I'm saying you said everything you touch dies. What happens? I happens. didn't say. I didn't say that. So I'm just going off what you said, bro. So you bet the Shadow of Mordor. Yeah. I, 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 how much you get to play? I got to play about thirty seconds to almost a minute because we was playing real that's quick. Not enough to take. That is <laughs> really. <laughs> I was at I was at school, so I can play for a solid hour. Uh, you could play for solid. No, hour. I couldn't. <laughs> Where was it at school? My homeboy brought his PS4 and went down. To, <laughs> he brought his PS4. <laughs> 
He bought his PS4 and went down to the, like, the library. They had a giant TV down there. We played on Breaking a giant shit. TV. This is Come on. Playing the game for 30 seconds. <laughs> it just seemed like you played, like... So what did you do? Like, you press start? Or, like, <laughs> like, did you press a button? Did you get to press any buttons? No. <laughs> <laughs> just a note. I hate everybody. Exactly. <laughs> Shut up, Moro. It was... Played like Assassin's Creed. Played like, it had a Batman mechanics the same. And Who's it, the developer? Developer was by it's something something like uh, a new developer, I believe. Uh, something Monolith. 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 I was gonna say Mordor. Mordor. Yeah. Mordor. Mordor. Yeah, yeah. Shadows of Monolith. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's actually when you actually play the game for a little bit, it's it, it's kind of boring until you get into combat. Then it's when everything changes. It gets it's faster pace and it actually. The, the best thing about it is taking over people's souls and just taking their souls away from them and just yeah it has like a, it. it has like a RCS strategy like uh, thing to it like uh, you can from the from the thir- from the developer diaries you can like control one of the what are, what are they called you can control one of the generals or yeah, warlords or, 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 orcs, 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 orcs yeah you orcs. control orcs and get your orc in position to where your orc is like the head orc and then you can control like a whole army basically because you're the, you control all the orcs and everything like that, but yeah, the, the, I think why the game is getting such rave reviews. I mean, I think it's it's probably a good game, but unlike Destiny, unlike Watch Dogs, they released the game and it's a whole fucking game there. That's a novel idea. I mean, I know there's DLC. There's one DLC where you get to fight um the 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 what's the big guy name in Lord of the Rings? If you're a Lord of the Rings fans, I'm sorry. Sauron. Sar- yeah, not Sauron. Uh, the main Betty. Sauron. Oh, I thought that, I thought Sauron was the uh, was the um, Gandalf. Saruman. Not Saruman, but Sauron. Sauron. Yeah, Sauron. Sauron is big guy. Okay, yeah. Saruman is the wizard guy. Okay, okay. So there's a deal. Fucking everything. Up. See, why do I why do I record with you, motherfucker? Shit about this is you. this is why we're here. <laughs> we learn some every day. We learn some every day. We learn some every day. <laughs> so the so like there's a there's a DLC coming out where you can fight him. So that's kind of something big that you would want to do in the main game. So I don't know, kind of, kind of bewildered almost like why they wouldn't put that in a real game. But from what I'm hearing is the game, everything's in the game. Like it's sad when we are to a point in the industry where we give a game a good score just because it's complete. <laughs> yeah. 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 That, mm. Got to that one. That but, shouldn't be. That, that, shouldn't that should, be. shouldn't be. But like it's, it's unexpected. I think, um. I like I don't know if it's a one-off game or they're trying to make it a series, but with reviews like this and in a drought where games aren't really coming right now, I think uh, this game might have legs. Uh, Tony P, you think you, you have you seen previews for the uh, game? I actually have seen previews for the game. Um, given that I've seen Lord of the Rings, but never really followed it heavy like a lot of people have. Well, seen, but seen, seen the you know, I've seen the movies. I've seen the movies. The movies were good, but after seeing the gameplay, you know, I I could I definitely think I'd end up. Buying it just to go ahead and play. No, it yeah, and see what I mean, it's you're, about. You're, I mean, if you're a hack and slash lover, I mean, you there are other mechanics in it, but like right, but you, I mean, you, but got, just, you got you, you got the Batman gameplay with executions, right. so that's right up your alley. Yeah, that's, that's exactly. Like, hey, like, hey, like there's there's some pretty there's some pretty gory, um, gory ways to die. Yeah, what's what's Crytek's game they used to do that did that. Um, the way you're the gladiator, the Roman gladiator. Oh, you're right. Son of yeah, Rise. It, it kind of reminds me of Rise, the combat a little bit. I'm not sure. I I, I haven't played it. You no, it, it plays more. Of, it plays really more of Assassin's Creed and Batman. No, it has nothing like Rise at all. It's way different. Way different all the way. It's kind of offensive there. <laughs> Rise bullshit. I detect. I detect. I detect a little bit of salt. Did in you that even statement. play Rise? Yes, I did. Okay. Uh, I have played Rise at the mall at GameStop, so I have played it. Once again, for how long? I played it for at least two hours. Okay, okay, because you know he could have been because lying. I was waiting for a minute. He could have. He, he I was waiting because you could have been like, oh, I played it. For, I played it tomorrow. It just suck. How much you played it for? Like at least like six seconds. No, I played it. For, I, I played it because I, I waited for minute, minute release. So that's why I played it. So it was not one of. It was these like, like six seconds of gameplay, and every <laughs> every frame that I watched, I mean, like he took one step, and I was, I was like, sick. That's not how a person I was walks. Sick, and it was just disgusting. People don't walk hate. like that. <laughs> Long Wolf, Shadows of Mordor. What's your opinion? How do you think you're gonna uh, I, like it? I, I, I want to give it a try. I do want to play it. I might uh, actually uh, uh, check it out here pretty soon. Uh, I, I'm I like Lord of the Rings. I like The Hobbit. I like The Hobbit a little bit more than Lord of the Rings. Um, I I'm except for the movies. The movies suck. 
I mean, but you get you get to play as basically a wraith, so yeah. that's pretty that, fucking that's, cool. That's gonna be the interesting part. And I always did. Want, I mean, I I never read the t- the uh, the token um uh, 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 books because um I just hey I I I I'm no Stephen Colbert when it comes to the the, the trivia of the uh, of token. <laughs> I don't think anybody is a Stephen Colbert. In that. <laughs> that that dude knows that his is, stuff. he knows his token. He, he knows, knows his token. His token but I always found it um very interesting that you know uh, uh Saruman guy Saruman. Gave him the, uh, the 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 rings of power, and then he controlled all of them. So I was like, "What happened to those guys? Who were they?" Da, da, da. And this kind of this kind of storyline explains that, fleshes that out a little bit more. I'm thinking. Uh, it's actually in between um, the supposedly it's in between the Hobbit and uh, Lord of the Rings. So I don't think it's gonna go too much into uh, Sar uh, Sar Sauron that much. About to make me but is but aren't the wraiths uh, one of the ones that had the rings? Or is that or am I way off base? Uh, I don't, I don't think so. Okay, but yeah, I'll be. I'm really interested. Is is are there books that connect between those two sagas? Uh, there's books that explain so is this, like so the is this, entire, is, the entire, like everything. Uh, what's it called? The the Summerillion, Summerillion, something like that. Mm-hmm. It's it it explains like. Everything it's crazy. A friend of mine actually has the book and read it. So so so, so this it. is canon. Uh, I'm yeah. allegedly. Yeah, this is this is gonna be part of the can. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's that now that now that is pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right, so we're in our main topic now. Uh, we're gonna talk a little bit of Street Fighter coming out of the Tokyo Game Show. We learned we thought we were gonna get some Street Fighter Five information, but we didn't get Street Fighter Five info. We got Street Fighter Omega Edition. Tony, go ahead and tell us what Omega Edition is about. All right. All right. For those Street Fighter fans out there, Omega Edition. Hey. Oh, hey, shit, hey, son. Hey, 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 listen up here. hey, kid. Hey, hey let's listen. Get let's get real. All <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Omega Edition. All right. This is a playoff of Ultra Street Fighter 4. You still have the same 44 characters from Ultra Street Fighter 4, but. There is some wicked shit going on in Omega Edition. I mean, when I say wicked shit, I mean just YouTube it. You know, oh, we're gonna be running some B-roll. Trust me, trust we're me, trust me. Line. We're definitely gonna go ahead and They're put some video up right for now. it. I mean, the video for Omega is crazy. I mean, you got Ken kicking fireballs. Think about that, folks. Ken just got bored one day and said, "Fuck it, I'm tired of throwing fireballs with my hands." Let me see if I can learn how to kick a fireball or two. And he did it. <laughs> Just think about that shit. That is crazy. Yeah, uh, Street Fighter Omega Edition definitely throws out the balance. This is an unbalanced game, and they're, they're, they're really trying to go for fun here. And uh, you're going to be able to do some crazy stuff. Like uh, in Street Fighter, how everything's balanced and how you can't really pull off more than, what, I say what, a, a six-hit combo. or you, you've, got, you've got EX moves that are look like supers. Yeah. In the game, yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. crazy. It's super crazy. Yeah, it definitely looks like like you like you're just looking to have fun playing Street Fighter. This is definitely a fun route of playing Street Fighter. I mean, I'm a Street Fighter fan, and for once, I'm actually going to play Street Fighter and have fun with it because I know I can play it to take care of business. But this one, I'm actually going to play and have fun with it. You know what I'm saying? Lone Wolf, what do you think about it? Since they have their EXs as their, uh, since they've like beefed up the EXs, so they basically their special moves. I'm wanting to see what the, the special moves actually, actually do. look like now, yeah. and yeah. how much damage are, do they pump out? Oh man, it's gonna be crazy! Because oh, right? really if right. they, if they, if if I'm hitting you with something like an EX move and that's doing damage like a super, yeah, you better make it where that yeah. super is like <laughs> yeah. I hit you with it once, and that's like your entire health bar. I, I want that. <laughs> I mean, they gave they gave Gal the the, the Charlie Boomer uh, a Sonic Boom. Oh my God, yes. that was that was gorgeous. Just one arm, one arm, two arms. Just, yeah, he, I, he did like three <laughs> Sonic Booms in a row. They gave Chung Lee uh, the crazy in the air kicks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They gave uh, they they gave Ken um. Sh- uh, yeah, he has the yeah. fireballs, but he can also, also do them in different the, directions, like Goki. Yeah, he can put up in the air, up in the side. It's it's just some ridiculous. He, I mean, oh, he's God. got some MVC two shit going on, yeah. basically. It, that's basically when I when I saw it when I actually started thinking about it, it's like I mean besides the fact that you can't you can't have more than one person on the, on on your side, it's basically MVC two with 
done in the Street Fighter 4 engine. A little, a little slowed down, though, because MVC is just fucking ridiculously Chaos. fast. I mean, because that's what you got all the people in there. Exactly. That shit's just everywhere. I can't. Mm-mm. Combo. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and the show goes on. Yeah. That's yeah, basically. basically. Mm-hmm. I, I want to see what they do with uh, uh, people char- characters like Akuma and Shin Akuma and, 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 and Evil Real. Yes. I'm definitely looking forward to see what they do with Evil Reed because <laughs> if Ken's kicking fireballs, boy, look at you. I want to see fireballs come out of Evil Reed's chest. You looking, know, there's a reason why he's got that crate in his chest. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking to see what the twins got in the store. Oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah, twins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. see what they got in the store. And, and Sagat, uh, Bison, you know, has got some crazy stuff oh, going on. Bison's going to be broken. Uh, you, I mean, the whole game's going to be broken. Yeah. For the most part. <laughs> hell, it, hell yeah, the whole game's broken. What do you mean? 44 characters of nothing but broken characters. It, like, and what, <laughs> what's crazy about it is that <laughs> we're getting this. We thought we were going to get a Street Fighter Five, right? But this is like a brand new game. It's, uh, granted, it's just a mode, but it's, it's like they're giving us a brand new game mm-hmm. of Street Fighter Five. I mean, Street Fighter Four, And they're giving it to us for free. That you hear that? Capcom. Free. Free. Capcom is giving away something for free. Freebie. F R E E. That spells free. So yes, I'm, it does. I wonder if they're doing. I wonder if they're doing like a testing to see if people actually want this stuff, which we we fucking do. Capcom. Oh, yeah. I want to test to it right put, now. To put it in Street Fighter Five. Is this testing for Street Fighter Five? I'm curious. I want to test it right now. I I'm just saying. Even, you even would have thought about that. Yeah, like, I never like, even thought like, about that. Like, like, as I think Street Fighter. Even even from the '90s, when Street Fighter was at its peak, I think right now Street Fighter is at its peak, the highest, most popular game that it's ever been right now. Yeah, and I and Street Fighter Five, it's coming. You know it's coming, or some kind of team up. Ma- another Street Fighter based game is coming out. So I want to know, like, it, are they doing this just so they know they have, they know they have this big install base of Street Fighter Five, and they don't exactly know what to do with Street Fighter? They got this big install base of Street Fighter Four. I'm gonna say. And they don't exactly know what to do with Street Fighter Five. So are they using this as testing grounds to see what we want to see in Street Fighter Five? Partially, I'm hoping so. I'm, I'd say partially, just due to the fact that I want to see something new from Street Fighter. Yeah. Uh, this. Uh, how long? How long has uh, Four been out? Four's been out since. Four's been out two thousand six nine. I don't know. No. It ain't been out that. Four I want to say 2011. No, 2011, 2012, 2010. You guys don't know. You guys don't know. That's what it is. Well, it definitely ain't been 2006. Damn it. Okay. Trust me. I, I know it ain't been out for a while though. It's no, it's been out, out for it's been out for a couple years. It's been out for a good minute. Yeah. No, because you got yeah Street Fighter. Then you had the big update that was from Vanilla Street Fighter. And then you oh, came wait. out with Street Fighter Ultra. Oh, wait. No, I mean, came, Street Fighter out, Arcade it Edition. Out, it came out 08 in Japan, and it came out yeah, so uh, for really, 09 over here. So it really okay, wasn't that 09. far off. It yeah. really was not that it's, far off. That's not that. I mean, Vanilla Street Fighter, and then it had a big update. Then you could buy, like buy a character. Then it came out with Street Fighter Arcade Edition. Yeah. Then after Arcade Edition, you got big update. And then Ultra. No, no, no. You had Super, Super, Super Street Fighter. And then Ford. Super then, Arcade Edition. Exactly. And then you had Ultra. Ultra. Yeah. Which we all had to pay for. Each yeah. So, realistically, you can actually have bought the original Street Fighter, Vanilla Street Fighter, back in the day, and just bought the add-ons, and just kept upgrading that game, and it would have worked. Yep. Yeah. To the day. Yeah. Which is... I want to say it's... I, that's not the way... I don't want to... Ha- He's stuck, guys. I don't want to have to buy a game <laughs> every brand. year, you know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm but glad. I'm glad. I'm glad when they when they bring out the bring out a new game, I'll appreciate it more, I guess. Because like Madden, like 2K, really these games only have partial upgrades anyway. And I consider Street Fighter a sports game, like an esports game. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and esports games and games that are sport games. If you buy a game and they're updating it. You just, all they're doing is updating rosters and updating yeah. what's and and that's basically what Street Fighter does. They rebalance they, the game they and re- balance the well, game. They're rebalancing everything, not really. Uh, and not, not really, making you pay for it, you know. That's which is good. Well, well, the difference between that and like Madden and stuff like that. Madden, you're you're basically buying a brand, brand new, new game. game exactly. Every time. No, eh, that's why I'm not. That's why I'm. Yes are, and no, because a lot of times they're just like they repack. It's the same, same game, game, yeah. So that, like I'm saying, like a lot of people are complaining that Street Fighter, like you said, Street Fighter Four has been out for so long, mm-hmm. and I want a new game. But if you're going to keep refining the game till it's best version of the game, I'm okay with it. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it get to the best version, and hopefully you'll be using the data and stuff that you're gathering for making this game. Yeah, because think about it. We would have had basically Street Fighter 
arcade right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Instead of instead of having Ultra and Omega that we got coming out now. We're we're I'm 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 just it makes me long for the days of arcades where we can actually like test the stuff. Yeah, yeah, it makes definitely. Me long for the arcades. Yeah, it's, definitely. It's, it's All just, day. This this is cool and everything like that, but it's not the <laughs> same. It's not the same. So this isn't coming out till December 2015, uh, or oh, January 2015, I believe, and it's only coming out on last gen consoles. It's not it's not coming out for uh, next gen. They're saving that, I guess, for the next version of Street Fighter. I mean, how do we feel about that? I mean, I kind of wanna, I kind of wanna see Street Fighter Five. On my 360 and on my PS4, you know. I, I want to play it on. I want to play it for the next gen. I mean, it, yeah, yeah. There's nothing for next gen right now. Yeah. And I want to play like what I, right now. The only fighting game they really got is is Injustice. Injustice and KI. Uh, and, that's it. And that's it. Like. Yeah. I mean, which ain't bad. Let me get yeah, that straight. Yeah. Let me get that going straight. It ain't I'll bad. Take, I'm I'll not take, complaining. I'll <laughs> take, I, 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 when it comes to the fighting games for the next gen, I'll take KI over Injustice. I will take KI over just because KI just feels K- it's new. It feels new. It feels it's it's you you know what it is, but it still feels new. Yeah, it, it's fresh. Yeah, it's really fresh. But and I'm not saying anything bad about Injustice. Injustice is it's a good game. It's yeah, a very good game. Um, my my top pick for the last two years, I, I want to, as far as fighting games have been going, I'm I've definitely been more into Injustice than Street Fighter. Yeah. I'm just now coming back into the fold. Yeah, Street Fighter. Well, Street Fighter's been around for like that. You you you're not gonna ever have a moment where you can't come back to Street Fighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But 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 locking down that EX focus and all that stuff, it it's it, it's pretty tough. I'm dude. I I gotta get. I gotta start learning. Get on the sticks, man. I gotta get on them sticks because uh, it it's it's. I want to. I want to. I want to actually like play. Dominate. I wanna, yeah. yeah. I don't want to be sitting there just. Well, I got my. I got my gamepad. Guys, he's bringing up a gamepad. Or he, guys, he's bringing up PS3 con- or PS4 controller. Um, I, I want to be on that thing. Like, grab my stick, man, cast a BB. But whoops, ass. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I'm about to kick some fireballs of King, nigga. Speaking, I, speaking of which, see, fucking see. Mad Cats bring out a gamepad and a controller for the next gen system. That's right. Please. Yeah, we, we, it's, Jesus. Come on, guys. Y'all got to get on Get that. on them. Well, they already got one. I think they already got one for Xbox One. KI has their own special one, but I don't think that was done by Mad Cats. I'm not sure. No, there's a Mad Cats one that's there's, there's a KI Xbox. game controller, but there's no game pad yet. I, I thought I'm a pad warrior, so I, I need... Not, I want, not a pad, a, no, a, a joystick. Stick, joystick. Yeah, there's, there's, a, there's a KI joystick. It's about $400, but like it came out with one, but I'm not sure that it's Mad Cats. It's KI exclusive. Mm-hmm. I think it might be Double Helix. I'm not sure. Came out with it, but there's, there is one. There is one out there, but no fight... Well, fight, it's a fight stick, not a fight pad. I think we're going to have to wait for a while anyway because fighting games, we're still waiting. We're still waiting for... Uh, Guilty Gear... Uh, Guilty Gear is this coming out next year? Uh, uh, Injustice Two is on the way. They say MKX. MK, MKX is like the next thing we got. No, yeah, MKX yeah. is the next and thing. No, 7, no, then. no, no. Uh, Guilty Gear is coming out before MKX. Is it now? Yeah, I'm supposedly Guilty Gear is coming out next. Mm. All right. So final words on, on uh, Street Fighter Omega. I'm very excited to play it. Can't wait to. It will definitely be. It won't be an official tournament game, but we will definitely do it at Wally Mobs. The day it drops. Oh, hell yeah. Most definitely. All I got to say is, Tatsumachi some pool, cut. <laughs> uh, I was going to say, Ken is kicking fireballs. Think about that, America. <laughs> He's not throwing fireballs with his hands. He is kicking fireballs. He is kicking fireballs. When in your life are you ever going to see Ken kicking a fireball? Omega, baby. I hate for somebody to tickle his toes. <laughs> I'm, <joking. laughs> I'm so sorry Eliza I didn't mean to you know how I get sometimes come in alright so we've made it to the shout out portion of our show um, where do we want to start today who wants to take it first I I'll start alright both of y'all legacy say <sighs> no no go ahead go ahead legacy my shout out goes to my brother here, Lone Wolf. <gasps> More really? happy birthday. It's his birthday. Oh, really? who knew? <laughs> and, and I got some smack. You want to hit? <laughs> <laughs> and my uh, other co-host, Red Case Chair. R.I.P. 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 Chair. R.I.P. to the chair. So sad. It was just yesterday. It was all a dream. It was about a week ago. Oh, 
forgot. Remember that time Legacy broke the chair while we was recording? <laughs> I mean, yeah, <laughs> right? that's so weird. Did I do right? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Because ironically, he did it on uh, uh, Lone Wolf's birthday. Uh, <laughs> I, saw, I sat there and I was looking and I was just, mm, what you say? <laughs> mm, <that's your> <laughs> and you just see him collapsing, chairs falling apart. <laughs> uh, poor chair. <laughs> Poor chair. Poor chair. <laughs> what you say? <laughs> <laughs> um, what you say? But those that are not familiar <laughs> with who we are referring to, Jesus we are talking about Jason win. Derulo. <laughs> Jesus. Who I inexplicably my brother <laughs> happens to look like. Uh, was that Saturday Night Live? <laughs> what you say? Yeah, Saturday Night Live. <laughs> what you say? What you say? All right, next up. I, uh, I um, guess I'll go. Lone um, Wolf. I got a shout out. I got to give a shout out to my boys at uh, or my boys and my girl. I can't forget you, Miko. Um, <laughs> at uh, Half Ass Heroes, check out the podcast. Half Ass Heroes, Heroes dot com. Much love. Uh, we mm-hmm, we mm-hmm. got to give you guys a shout out. Uh, also, I, I miss you guys at the um, at the tournament. And I'm Bitch. Really sad. <laughs> sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm. I was sick. That and see so happen. when that happens, I can't go out in well, public. We, we and know get other people. We sick. know who else missed it too, so uh-huh. we won't say it. But the he chair. wasn't sick, anyways. <laughs> um, and also, my last shout out for the night is rest in peace, chair. <laughs> Two thousand four. We love you. Uh, Two thousand fourteen. We love you, chair. Woo. Tony P. All right. Shout out. Shout out everybody that came out to the um, best kept secret gaming tournament this one weekend. We've ever had. It was you know so what I'm good. saying? It was so, so good. good. Me and Red K held it down. You Shout know out to Salt. Saying? Shout out to the salt. salt. You know what I'm saying? The salt was the salt. salt was, hey, hey, it was like hey, it, it was like there was a salt shaker, salt. a hidden salt shaker in the room that nobody saw, but everybody could touch. Yeah, everybody. Because the seasoning. salt was very the real. Seasoning was real. I mean, boy, look at you. Hey, there was some salt poisoning going on. You feel me? But it's gonna be better next next next. Tr- week, but so. trust me, the salt will be bigger and better <laughs> come the next time. Yep, so, but yep, yep. you know, we had a good turnout. You know what I'm saying? Everybody had a good time. <laughs> even even the even, even even the crackhead. Unfortunately, he wasn't there for the tournament. But still, ISIS. even the crackhead had a good time. ISIS. <laughs> but you know, shout out to everybody that came out to the tournament. You know. Looking for a better, looking for a bigger and better turnout next one, on the next one. Our next one on 26. Yeah, October 26 uh, is going down. October 26, best kept secret. Bowl 30. Bella yeah, Lanes. boy. To Bella Lanes, we're going to have our best kept secret tournament. Again, we're going to be doing it at the Bel Air Plaza. All right, so yeah, that, I guess that leaves me. Um, I got a couple shout outs. Uh, first shout out I want to give is uh, going out to sex. Um, Hallelujah. Uh, I want to shout out. I want to shout out uh, Lone Wolf's parents for uh, banging. Mm, yeah, wait, twenty ugh. some, <laughs> twenty six, twenty five years ago. Wait, on wait today, a, wait a minute. Yeah, I, I want to I, I give a shout out to the parents for getting it on you know, down you know, and dirty. In other words, he said. You know, that's his way of saying happy birthday. I, 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 I thank some you, pretty, but I don't want to think some ugh. pretty nasty things went down on that ugh. day. No, dude, and, it's bad uh, enough. I know I was I was conceived <laughs> on a waterbed. That's, that's all I need to know. I just want to say, you know, appreciate you know, pops. And moms, moms, little getting it on. Pops, pops, I mean, I don't, I don't know who, I don't know who uh, did the most work in it. I wasn't I there. Know. You were there. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And you were there. And you were there. <laughs> pineapples. I ain't ready for this shit, man. Pineapples. Damn it, pineapples. All right, so next shot, I want to go out to the Epic Battle Axe. Um, they're in their last week of having this show. They've been running for six years. If you never, if you don't know who the uh, EBC community is, uh, the the freaking Axe Heads, man. If you ever used to watch um, their show that came on Game Trailers, uh, Daniel Kaiser, Brent Adams, Lauren Bob Garden, uh, all the whole crew. Um, just amazing, amazing podcast. Basically, the reason why you're hearing this podcast right here is because I listened to them and wanted to duplicate what they did, and uh, they're they're calling it quits. And uh, big, big shout out to them, man, because uh, they they did the thing. They yeah. did the damn thing. I mean, they they really have inspired. Paved a lot the way, of yeah, basically. Lot, paved the way and inspired a lot of different uh, uh, gaming podcasts out there. And um, I mean, like like you were saying, if it wasn't for them. Uh, we wouldn't be here. Nah. Having this, uh, a lot and a lot of other gaming podcasts wouldn't be here. Yeah, so uh, so much games, love so. and respect uh, to those guys. Um, cry havoc. You let your voice be heard. You know what I mean? So big shout out to them. Um, and like I said, uh, 
October 26th, if you listen to this podcast, you'll be the first people to know when the tournament is going to be. October 26th, 4.30 at Bel Air Lanes. We got the posters up everywhere. We'll be putting dates on them eventually. Um, where the games will be, drum roll please. Street Fighter Ultra. Smash Brothers Oh, bro, no, we're not doing bro. We're not doing bro. <laughs> we were gonna do bro, but then we said fuck y'all, and uh, we're doing. <laughs> we win by vote, bitches. We're, 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 we're doing Project M, and the last game will be. I'll let you guys see it. Oh. Naruto. Tekken. What? What? Oh, um, <laughs> my bad. Well, it's actually gonna be between, be between that. What's Naruto? It's Naruto. It's Naruto. It's, 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 Naruto. it's, it's, it's Tek. So so what's so what's what, what's, what's <laughs> it hasn't even come out yet. What's the game called? Naruto. It's Naruto yeah. Revelations. It's already out. It's already out. Revolution. No, Naruto Revolution. 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 Yeah. Revolution. yeah. So we're gonna do the Naruto Revolution. It will be our third game. Uh, fifty on one, forty on the other, and thirty on the next. Hope to see you guys out there. We putting up more videos. Make sure to like, subscribe to the page. Um, post our videos in other places. You guys have been very very supportive. Uh, we're coming up on seventy. Uh, subscribers, 2,700 views. Our first video just went um, over 500 views. Um, so big things happening. Of course, you guys know who that is. Me and Tony on the fighting game show on the other show. Uh, but anyway, so... Uh, <laughs> basically, fuck John and Will. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, they, they got one foot in the grave already. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. R- R- you know. R- 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 P chair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's the, what's the worst that can happen? What's going to happen? <laughs> John will sit on you. <laughs> and for and if you like that sort of thing, uh, please call <laughs> Wally Mott, and we will arrange for that to happen. John to come over to the house, and he will sit on you. <laughs> and we we you will have to sign a waiver because we will not be responsible for any injuries that will occur will occur when he sits. <laughs> it's a sweepstakes right now. First person answer wins. <laughs> I would like John to sit on me. Oh no, you girl. You <laughs> so make sure to be checking the page uh, very often and see all the new material up. And once again, uh, October twenty sixth. Um, that is the day after the Boo Bash on the twenty fifth, and uh, it's a Sunday, four thirty, Bel Air Lanes, Ormond Beach. Uh, once again, games are Project M, Smash Brothers on the Wii U. And uh, on the Xbox 360, we're going to have um, Street Fighter Ultra. And on the PS3, yes, Naruto. Yes, Naruto. Revolution. Revolution. All right. All right, so uh, that's going to do it for me, Red K, Tony P, Legacy, the fucking chair killer, and Lone Wolf. I will push your chairs. <laughs> Till next time, be good. If you can't be good, man, don't get caught. It's Wally Mop. We out. Okay, okay. Well, let's let's get it straight. Okay, all right. So, uh, Ambrose, Wiz Khalifa is supposed to be getting divorced. Amber is saying that Wiz Khalifa has been cheating, right? But then the news article today shows that Wiz Khalifa has been reported cheating on the woman women from his own mouth to her. So he's- that don't mean shit. He could just be saying bullshit. You know what I'm saying? But check this out, though. All right, so check it out. You say bullshit like that. <laughs> like your girl. <laughs> just- yeah, man, I've been fucking. See, see the point? <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, okay, like, like you know when your girl be like, oh, I bet you fucking so-and-so. Yep, show yep. him. <laughs> fucking her. Fucking a mama, a cousin. Shit, the baby turn 18 tomorrow. Probably fuck her next. Because you pissed off. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't actually mean that you fucking a bitch. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't mean that you saying that out of frustration. Yeah, but this is this is where shit get juicy, okay? So, juicy. Amber Rose says Wiz been cheating and I'm getting divorced. Now, she did file for divorce. So, obviously, Wiz did something or... Smoke she something. did something, and she's trying I, to do it like. I think I, I, I think I know. I think I know what Wiz did that nobody said anything about. What? He probably has a secret stash of weed somewhere that she don't know about. She wanted to hit. I don't think something. that's possible. <laughs> I don't think that's just possible. Nah, we now nah, Wiz got enough weed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So she said, Wiz been on tour. Wiz been working. He got the number one album, rap album, hip hop album in the world right now. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He's Billboard charts number one. Amber, however. Wiz been saying Amber been fucking Nick Cannon. Oh, yeah, I saying. have heard. I have heard I, that. I've heard. I that. have heard. Now that. check this out, right? I don't believe that though because let's be. I mean, Amber Rose is pretty. Not gonna lie, but let's be honest. Amber <laughs> Rose, all right? Hey, 
<laughs> hey, I'm just saying. Amber Rose, Mariah Carey. But Nick Cannon's getting divorced from Mariah Carey. I heard that too. So check this out though. Nick Cannon's getting divorced. Who else is getting divorced? Wiz Khalifa getting divorced. It would still and Nick Cannon signed Amber Rose as a model to his company. Yep. What? Yep. 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 Put yep. the pieces together. Yep. Yep. It would seem taking the D. It would seem more likely that Amber Rose could be the reason why Nick Cannon got divorced from Mariah Carey. Mm. And then to push things even think about it. What so, a twist. And so, 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 to, so to push things even further, check this out. Kanye West, Amber Rose, remember that whole thing, mm-hmm. uh, the 808 and heartbreaks. You know what I'm saying? He's like crying that. over it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Amber, uh, with Kanye West and Wiz Khalifa getting into it, almost getting right. Deshaun cut from the record label. You know what I mean? Oh wow! Yeah, why? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, Big Sean almost didn't get signed because of the whole Wiz Khalifa Kanye West beef. And Wiz Khalifa. Well, I was saying, what did Big Sean have to do with that? Big though, Sean though? and Wiz Khalifa is homeboys because of their affiliation. Uh, Kanye almost didn't sign him. Sounds 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 a little salty, but okay. I mean, hey, I'd be salty too yes. if I was engaged to this bitch and she left me, you know, stranded. But anyways, fast forward, Amber Rose, knowing she fucked up, tried everything she could and reached out to Kanye West and has been texting Kanye West every day. Hmm. Not while only- he, while he, while, and Kanye's married to Kim, just but, for those that are living under a rock or have no idea what the hell's going on in the media world. But no, 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 no. Check this out, though. Kanye West is super pissed at Kim Kardashian because some more naked pictures leaked from Kim. And Kim had to explain, oh, I sent those pictures to my ex-boyfriend, da 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 before we was, like, married. Kanye West wasn't having it. Super pissed at Kim. They're on rocky terms now. Amber Rose was Khalifa getting divorced. Amber's trying to get back at Kanye. Amber probably was fucking Nick before they even got rocky. And it's the reason why fucking Nick Cannon and Mariah Carey getting divorced right now. There's a twist. There's a real twist. There's a lot of there's a lot of BS going on right now. God, so like a hose in case. (laughs) Hey, hey, this is probably one of the worst times to be a celebrity, folks. These hoes ain't loyal. (laughs) Sherlock Holmes, this case. (laughs) Yeah. What? I don't. mm. (laughs) That's that's a that is like. And next time on as As the the world world turns, (laughs) media world edition. (laughs) That's a giant. Let's do it. We can't do. We can't do a dark diagram with that. That's yeah. impossible. Oh, yeah, like.